What was it like? I um, mean, dream come true, really. You know, uh, just, you know, fighting for that last roster spot. Uh, you know, not knowing what to expect coming into the season, you know, being on a team, uh, just working hard each day, growing as a person on and off the court, and then, you know, just taking advantage of the opportunity that coach gave me. What do you see as your offensive role going going forward, things you want to work on? I mean, everywhere like in my game, on offense, I feel like I can get better, you know, becoming a more consistent shooter, you know, making the right reads, you know, even more when I'm driving or making open pass or what shots to shoot. So just basically, you know, going back, you know, talking with the coaches and, then, you know, working on every aspect this summer of trying to get better. Royce, how has, how has your uh, perspective changed on the league when you were hoping to make it? Now it's pretty clear you belong, you know, and now you've got a contract for another couple of years. How, how has that changed the way you view the NBA and what your goals were? I mean, I think my goals and, you know, how I view it still be the same, you know. At the end of the day, it's a business, you know. Getting in would probably be the hardest part, but you got to do what you have to do to stay in. So, you know, you have to work hard each day, go the extra mile. Because it's always somebody that's coming in and trying to take your spot. So just looking at that and, you know, just, you know, not being comfortable at all. Right. So you, you got any specific off-season plans? I mean, going back to Texas or kind of what, what's your off-season look like, man? I haven't really thought about that yet, you know. Uh, you know, I'll probably take some time off a little bit, go back to Texas, you know, see the family. And then, you know, try not to take too much time off and get back to it. But, uh, you know, ease into it slowly, but just stay ready you know, at all times. Royce, do you count yourself lucky to be able to have your first NBA experience with a, a franchise that's so grounded and a, and a group of guys that really pretty clearly has a great chemistry and a great connection? Definitely. I mean, you know, the organization taking a chance on me, uh, you know, blessing me with the opportunity to come in, just showcase my ability. And then these group of guys, you know, from the start to the end of the season have welcomed me, you know, helped me grow on and off the court. You know, the bond we create, the chemistry wise, you know, as even though we were nine, 19 and 28 all the way till playing in the semifinals, uh, that just shows how much we're together. Building on that, Royce, I know you have a special bond with Donovan Mitchell. You guys are rookies together and, and became very good friends. How important was that bond and that relationship as you guys went through this journey together as rookies? It was special. I mean, you know, helping each other out, um, you know, things that I see that he might not see in the game. I'll tell him things he sees that I might not see in the game. He'll tell me. And I think just us being rookies and, and you know, feeding off each other and then the older guys helping us out. That helped out a lot. So it helped us grow game by game and all the way up to the playoffs. Royce, Ryan talked about uh, your coming from Spain and then going into starting in the NBA playoffs so quickly. How difficult was that adjustment and how much do you attribute it to your coaching staff and the organization here? I mean, it's different. Uh, you know, the NBA, especially just from my first game, you know, just the pace, um, all the different aspects of it. And then at, at, throughout the season and then into playoffs, getting co more comfortable, relaxing, uh, everything else, you know, it made it easier. And then just the coaching staff just believing in me, you know, having that confidence to put me in the starting lineup, uh, and just taking the chance on me, me being able to play my game. You talked about that fight that you weren't even sure you know, you'd be able to make the roster. Was there any certain point where you kind of realized, hey, I, I belong here? Probably say once I made it, you know, okay, I said, all right, I'm finally here. And then having that first experience in the NBA game, seeing what I had to work on. And then, you know, from the first game starting, I was like, I'm really playing in the NBA. I'm starting in the NBA you know, being one of the last guys on the team. But, you know, just not taking anything for granted, staying healthy, um, just basically working hard each day, getting better. Do you ever wonder how things might have played out if you hadn't been on the same team with Dennis Lindsay's son and cross paths at Baylor? 
I mean, we actually didn't play together at Baylor. I kind of like just hosted him on his recruiting visit. But, uh, you know, Jake is a great player. Um, you know, he had talked to me each summer. And then when I went back, talked to him. And then, you know, once I made it, he was like one of the first first guys to congratulate me, sent me a text and called me. So, I mean, just having that connection is great. Was there ever a point in the season when you surprised yourself and thought, hey, I mean, I know you talked about when you felt like you belonged, but was there a point when you said, okay, I'm not just here because I have a contract. I, I really surprised that I'm, I'm on the floor with these guys and I'm holding my own? I'd probably say each night, really. Um, guarding, like, you know, top players in the NBA, you know, getting that chance. Um, then starting and then actually, like, being able to play in the playoffs. I think that's, like, when I was like, okay, and I have the chance to be great, you know, just how hard do I want it, how bad do I want it. Any other questions for Royce? If not, thank you very much. Have a great summer.